Eamon Connor here for Seconds Out with Lee Wood. Always good to see Lee Wood in town. Lee, how are you doing, sir? I'm good, thank you. Um, Belfast has been very, very uh, welcoming. Welcome, uh, welcoming. Um, didn't expect to see that many people um, excited to see me. It was, it was quite, uh, I was quite taken back by it, to be honest. But you don't want to go over too much old ground. I know you've obviously done a series of interviews here. I just want to know, as a champion, I know you have your reasons for relinquishing, moving up weight and such, but is it difficult always to, to give up a title, to relinquish that title when you've, when you've held it and it's meant a lot through your journey? Yeah, it is, but at the same time, if you knew what I went through to make weight, then I didn't really have an option, to be honest. Um, I defended it a few times now, uh, obviously Mick and Laura and, and now finally Warrington, so I feel like I've done pretty much everything other than um, unify that weight, really, and I would never have to do that because making the weight was too hard. Um, I literally got through the last fight my, with the skin in my teeth making the weight. It was extremely hard. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to having that extra four pound um, in May. Looking forward to that indeed. Looking forward to some fights. There's a target on your back now. A lot of fighters are looking to be with you in the ring at your next fight date. If you had it your way, what fight is it that you want? That's a... That's a tough question. If it was up to me and the numbers in my own, um, we could make it work. I just pick who I want to fight. Then it would be Navarrete because he's number one, and I'd be able to get a winner of a title beating him, and I'd, I'd be considered number one um, for the second time at my new weight. So, if I could pick anyone, it would be him. But it don't always work like that. <laughs> you know, it's a numbers game, and uh, sometimes uh, things to take into a factor like things like the gate, because. Um, I'm going to be fighting the city ground and there's a lot of seats to fill. A lot of seats to fill indeed. And it feels like the seat filler on the other end of the equation will be Josh Warrington with the storyline, with the way the last fight went, with the fans that he brings to the ring. Uh, yeah. Does it still excite you? Does, what, what is that response? I feel like there's something... No, the only thing that I'm excited to do is fight the city ground. But um, yeah, I'd like to shut him up because he just <laughs> stopped talking. He's boring me now, so... Um, yeah, if it's him and everyone wants to see me, see, me, see me knock him out, then yeah, let's do it. Leo, what do you think? Who shall I fight next? There we go. I think a lot of the people want me to see, fight, want, see me fight Warrington again, so um, it's looking that way. Does it not do much for you then? Like you have your sights set on Navarrete. If it was to land on Warrington, would you not be, not be unhappy with it, but wouldn't be exactly what you wanted? I'm not really fussed to our fight, to be honest. I just want it to be at the city ground. I want it to get paid as much as possible and um, have the best atmosphere possible and, and to tick all them boxes that I want, which I feel like I've earned as well. Not just I want them like a spoiled little kid, but I've earned. Then it's going to be probably going to be warranted. I mean, if I could pick anyone, like I said, theoretically, they don't be enough right because he's ranked number one. He's got a world title, so I've got more to gain. But like I said, it didn't work like that. So it's probably going to be warranted for, to get the best atmosphere to get the most bums on seats, to draw to draw the crowd and to get paid um, a decent whack then it's looking most likely to be him. And yeah, I'd like to show him up because he hadn't, he hadn't stopped moaning about the first fight. So um, I don't know why he's going to deal with me doing it again. Sticking on Josh for the moment, do you feel like that extra bit of weight will change the fight in a factor in a way that will more heavily favour yourself? When it comes to the fight, a lot of people will say that, look, you had your moments, but Josh Warrington was winning the most of the fight until he wasn't at that point where you took over, but do you feel like the weight differential would lean more in your favour and it'd be a completely different fight? Not really, no. Like, I don't know if people think, because I was so tight on the weight, that's that's why the fight went how it did and I looked a bit like I was getting beat up for a few rounds. That's not why. Like, reg Regardless of the weight, like we could have weighted any weight and that's exactly how the fight would have gone again because, you know, it was just... Uh, it, it was, like I said before the fight, you know, is, is going to have a success, but at what cost? the cost of me knocking him out that's what the cost was and um, regardless of what we weighed in at that fight would have gone the same the same way a couple of final things to wing through and I'll let you go onto your merry ways um, look, no 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 it's okay no, no worries they want to spend time with the champ I completely understand um, I'll sign it for a minute I'll sign it for a minute Leo just calm down uh, Conlon versus Gil look Michael Conlon had history with him too potential fight of a rematch potential fight of a rematch over in the US as well do you feel that Conlon gets to the fight to keep his name in the mix for a rematch with him and does that interest you also not really no but um, I'm expecting Jordan Jordan to win tomorrow night um, 
I don't want to. I don't want to talk in riddles and give anything away. But you know, um, he's extremely confident for this fight, Jordan. That's because he knows what he needs to do to to win. He knows his keys to victory, as, as we say down at our gym. Um, he's had his scouting report. He knows what he needs to do, and, and I think he's going to go do it. Does Jordan have the power? Uh, to, the power, sorry, to Absolutely. to stop him. Absolutely. I don't know people why people think he's not a puncher. A knockout with Gurphy and um, Doyle, like it, it can work. Trust me, it can work. We'll see. Yeah, we don't give too much away then, mate. <laughs> no, listen, it can punch more than uh, more than hard enough to, to stop Mick. Um, but there's more to fights than, than, than punching hard. In another addition to the gym, that, that being the form of a heavyweight anti Joshua, how has it been in terms of mixing in the gym and having time spending with him as well? Yeah, he's, um, he's a very nice guy, very approachable, like not quite what you expect. Um, years ago, the first time I met him, I was on GB and he was on podium. And I was pulling to the car park and he, he, he drove by and he stopped and reversed and put his window down and said hello. That's the first time I ever met him. So it just shows you what kind of guy he is. But yeah, it's, it's good to see him um, doing the things that I've once done at the gym and uh, practicing things and not quite getting things and things clicking and seeing him, seeing him do it and sparring and that. So um, I'm excited to, to see him fight December 23rd. For someone who's changed under Ben Davison under that guidance, and for someone who sometimes gets like a stick, Ben Davison, what will Ben Davison add to Anthony Joshua's game that we'll see market improvement in him in his next performance? Obviously, I can't say too much, but I think in this fight you'll see AJ being a lot more decisive, um, and that'll be down to to what he's been doing in the gym and how clear it is what he needs to be doing. So he knows what he needs to do, which will make him a lot more decisive in doing it. Difficult fight in prospect in Wallen. Yeah, it's tricky. It's a banana skin, really, because it can make people look quite bad. But a very good win in his last fight. Um, but I think AJ will get the knockout, and I think he'll look good in doing it. Just a final thing away from this as well. Conor Ben, I don't know if you've got a, a take on his situation, rejected license as he looks to uh, have a fight with Chris Eubank Jr. Any thoughts on that situation at all? Do you know what? I just don't know enough details. I don't think anyone knows enough details. We don't know the actual the facts of the whole situation. So we don't know about the, the failed test. We don't know about um, what went around it. You know, you hear a lot of things. Say, I heard he, he passed one in between the two that he failed. So then, then you've got to, you, you can't comment unless you get all the evidence and all the facts, I, I guess. So um, I'm not one of the people that are going to be judging joy, you know, unless I get all the details to, to, to comment on it. I'll leave the final word with you for any fighter who wants to find themselves in the ring with you next year. Have you got a message to send to them? Well, apparently just keep, keep uh, making daft videos on um, on our previous fights on how I knocked you out and what happened and what the ref didn't do. That would seem to get you the rematch, apparently. A pleasure. Thanks for speaking to Seconds Out. Looking forward to the weekend. Looking forward to seeing you back in the ring. Thanks a lot,